Uh, if you look at Penang specifically, uh, as I said, um, next year is our 40th year. Um, we are primarily uh, designing, developing, and manufacturing two-way radio solutions to worldwide customers. Um, it could be all the way from a lowest tier that a, uh, a courier service could use to this highest tier where a police officer could be using products. Um, we, over the years, have developed capabilities to uh, design and develop R&D different types of product solutions in the two-way radio business. Two years ago, or two and a half years ago, um, I, I remember that sitting down in Kazana, we, gave, we came an idea that, you know what, we got to develop the ecosystem, all right? I mean, this, this is a buzzword, ecosystem, yeah. okay? But what do I mean by that? The fact of the matter is that, like you talked about the supplies, how do we nurture more and more of the, the I would use even the small R and a big D. Mm. You know, let's not, let's not get hung up on the R and yeah. D. The big D, for example. How do we nurture our supplies? How do we nurture um, SMEs, as SMIs to get into that? So mm. this thought process came about because we want to make sure that the MNCs that are here will continue to be here in the next 40, 50 yeah. years. And we came up with the idea that what we want to do is nurture this ecosystem, develop specific universities to take up some of the technologies mm -hmm. uh, of what the industries need and so forth. So we came up with this idea of the Crest. And I'm proud to say that after a couple of rounds with the government, you know, the Crest is here, it's realized. Now, for example, you know, we, are, we are one of the members, but at the same time what we do is that uh, Crest provides the, the grants for R&D and so forth. Mm -hmm. Um, R&D again, a little R and a big T. Uh, we are working with them. Uh, we have been very successful within Motorola to get four small projects going on. So we are successful. We got to get more and more of these things. And beyond just the MNCs, we got to get some of the SMEs getting involved in this thing. So, so it's a start. We got to be sustaining it. We got to be consistent. Yeah. We got to be persevering with this approach. Right? And we're going to make sure that it is successful in yeah, that sense. Okay. It's win-win for everyone then. Yeah. It, it, it's got to, and one of the uniqueness about Crest is the fact that we have people sitting from industry. Uh, we have, of course, uh, MIDA involved. We have USM, and of course, Crest is per se. Yeah. So we, we will make it successful. Okay, right. very good. I was fortunate last year, beginning of March, I think, um, um, you know, Talent Cop invited me through, through Crest to participate in their career uh, oh, okay. talks and so forth in the UK and I was fortunate to go to Newcastle, fortunate to go to London Imperial to provide, I would use the word unbiased view of what the yeah. industry needs and okay. it's very important to industry to talk about it because some of the perceptions that out there is the fact that we are still primarily a manufacturing oriented company, you know, there's no, you know, I would use the word sexy engineering yeah. work yeah. to be yeah. done, but it's good to have industry to talk about it, and I think hopefully I made some impact to some of these some people. Of kids, yeah. So, you know, those are some of the areas where continues to work with Crest and Talent Corp in that sense. So, okay. talent, looking at technologies, R&D, working at the universities, and some of the other partners. Right? Okay. That's, that's what we're doing with Crest at this point. All right, very good. Impressive. Okay. Thanks a lot.